Hello guys, Jamil here with Dealers Gear. Today we're going to talk about how to become a superstar general manager at a dealership. I know this is not a common video because most of the videos talk about how to train the BDC or the salespeople at the dealership. But if the salespeople and the BDC are trained and the leadership is not trained and they don't know what they're doing, the whole operation will fall apart. So in this uh, video, I'm gonna show you a strategy and a Going uh, throughout my career, I came across so many general managers. I saw the successful, I saw the non-successful ones, and I focus on the successful ones. I wanted to know what they are doing on a daily basis, and I wanted to learn from them and see how can I take this knowledge and train other dealerships to become more successful and sell more cars. So stay tuned and see you in a bit. Okay, so you got promoted and now you are a general manager. What are the things that you need to do in order to become successful? We go to uh, so many dealerships and we've, we've noticed that sometimes it's either the process or the people or uh, the marketing or like there is so many uh, uh, parts of the dealership uh, it's either working or not working. So combining the process with uh, the team and the right people will make the dealership work better. So uh, what are the uh, most important things that you need to have as a general manager to be successful? First of all, leadership. In order to become a successful general manager at a dealership, you need to take ownership in your position. You need to uh, be able to get dirty and go on the floor. So many dealers have these GMs that they sit behind a tinted window looking from inside and they never get involved into a, a transaction or a problem that's going on at the dealership or an unhappy customer that's complaining. They never get out. And this is the worst thing you can do as a general manager. If a GSM is, is off or a used car sales manager is off, you need to be able to replace them and be there and take over. And this is one thing that tells your owners or the corporation that you are the right uh, person the right, in the right place. So leadership, you need to be a leader, not a boss. Be like, likable, okay? But you don't want to be making friends. We're not into the business to make friends. We are in the business to sell more cars and bring more profit to the dealership. Uh, hold everybody accountable. Hire the right team. Get rid, of, get rid of all the toxic people at the dealership. Most of the time you come to a dealership, they team up. This group doesn't like this group. This ethnicity doesn't like this ethnicity. Uh, you know, and this creates a toxic culture at the dealership. And people, the good ones, they don't want to be around this. And they don't look forward to be there. Okay, so be firm. At the same time, when you are out from the dealership, take them for dinner, reward them. Uh, give them gifts if they uh, like get to a certain uh, uh, goal. Set KPIs and goals and timelines for for the dealership and for individuals and departments. You create teams. Switch them once uh, once a month, or twice a month, because you don't want them to stick around each other. I do. I don't want to work with the other people. You create that culture of everybody likes everybody and they are working for the same goal. Okay, and the same goal is basically selling more cars and making more money. And when they make more money for the dealership, they're making more money for themselves. So in order to be successful, you gotta have a plan in place, you gotta have a goal, and you have to have the power of execution. You are who your team is. So if you have a good team and you have good people, you're gonna be successful. So hire the right person in the right position will basically make you perform better as a general manager, okay? This is uh, something that maybe your HR needs to be strong to because they need to make the right decision when it comes to hiring and firing because they can, your team can break you or make you. So you need to make sure hiring the right team is a priority when it comes to your hiring process. 
okay finally i'm gonna talk a little bit about the marketing and about your uh, like process when it comes to selling cars some people care about the growth some people care about the volume when you come to the dealership the first thing you want to know you want to see what's the objective uh, uh, of the owner or the corporation are we selling more volume or are we or do we want to gross more some dealers they sell a lot of cars they gross a little some people they gross so much they sell little cars so how can i actually sell a lot of cars at the same time be have good grosses because if you sell 100 and 100 cars and you gross 1800 dollars you can sell 150 cars and gross 2000 2200 so if you have a plan in place you can achieve it uh, for the marketing you need to see which source that sells you more cars the, the source that sells more cars needs to be uh, invent, uh, like invested more in it and you know get it more uh, basically more money so a lot of dealerships they uh, their CRM states that uh, number one source for selling cars is other and that's the biggest problem and that should be your main focus when you come in and and see uh, what what's working what's not working when it comes to marketing so if you see that 50 cars sold from other that means sourcing is not working that means your ROI measurement is not in place that means you need to uh, look at your marketing channels how many cars are sold from here hold everybody accountable when it comes to sourcing because it's money and you are spending so much some dealers spend 200 300 thousand dollars on marketing and they don't know what's working what's not working this is a catastrophe. You need to have hands-on on every department, hands-on on every source. And what's, n what's not working, you need to let go. Who's not performing, you need to let go. Because sometimes you spend a lot of money on a person or you build a hope on somebody and he doesn't perform. A year, two years uh, pass by and he's not performing and you wasted all the money. So it's better to let them go, give them a three months, like a trial per period to see how they perform. And if you see a potential to end them and have them around you. So uh, when it comes to the personality, you need to have a strong mindset that gives you the ability to be able to make a decision under pressure. You are, whole, uh, you are in control of multiple departments now. You're not FNI or a used car manager you are overlooking everything. When you go to the dealership, make sure you look good, you dress nice, because looking good creates authority. A lot of people don't pay attention to, to this, but it's very important. When uh, a GSM cannot handle a problem and you walk out from your office and people see you dressing well and uh, you know looking good, they know that the guy with authority just came in and he's talking to me. So. Dress good, dress well, look good when you come to the dealership, feel good about yourself. You have a problem at home, keep it at home. Make sure when you come to the dealership, pay attention to details. Like uh, I go to so many dealerships and I see the general manager, they, you don't know if he's a general manager or a salesperson. So make sure your suit and the way you dress is appropriate. Uh, think of it as going to an interview if you are darker, you need lighter colors with maybe a darker jacket. If you like focus on light blue, light uh, uh, off-white, be easy on the eyes. So when you talk to people, they don't get tired looking at you. If you're wearing a tie, don't wear a pocket square. Don't get too busy. If you're wearing a pocket square, don't wear a tie. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of details that we can talk about that people don't really talk about it because they always focus on the salespeople and the BDC and you know the other parts of the dealership and they never talk about the general managers because they supposedly know everything so uh, this is it for this video if I was to talk about more stuff it would take like an hour maybe a day to cover everything when it comes to the uh, the, the strategy that uh, a manager or a GM needs to use in order to be successful and and take the dealer to the next level but in this video, I just wanted to cover like a general idea of what's how a GM should act and how he should run the dealership. If you have any question, please reach out 949-923-0190 or you can visit our website dealersgear.com. Thank you.